Hi, I'm John Wright and I'm here for the Wilcom Discovery Channel and in this video we're going to look at how to locate your start and finish points in a design. You can see here that the start and finish point of this design are dead centre. So how do we do that? Well, if we go to our view toolbar and right click in our, on our auto start and end icon, you'll see that the, setting, the settings that are available to you. So we're going to auto apply a start and finish and manually and maintain that automatically and we're going to center it in the middle of the design. So if I add another object to the design the start and finish point would automatically change to a new location to reflect the center of the whole design there. I'll just delete that and we'll come back and look at the properties here and turn off the maintain automatically. Now if I duplicate this object the start and finish points remain where they were in the beginning. So I'll just delete that again. Come back to my auto start and end properties. And let's say, for example, a cap, you might want the design to start the center bottom. So we'd select that, maintain automatically, and go OK. And you see that the start and finish point have relocated to the dead center bottom of the design. Now let's say we want to make the start point at a particular point on the garment, that is dead centre above the, the middle of the pocket or anywhere else in the design. We might want to match up a previously, a previously embroidered piece on the garment and we might want the start and finish point to be elsewhere. Before we do that, um, I'll just use our auto hoop function. So we'll click that and it's selected the appropriate sized hoop to accommodate this design with that start and finish point. Let's just turn that off. Now we'll come back and we'll manually digitize our start and finish point. So select digitize start and finish. Now we can make them separate points, but in this case I won't. We'll, we'll make sure the start and finish are in the same location so we won't tick the separately box. Go OK. And I want my start and finish point to be right at the top of the pocket over the buttonhole. So there's the new start and finish point. Now if we choose our hoop, there's none in my library, I'll, I'll auto create one. And you can see that we've got a, a different size hoop to accommodate the new start and finish point. So just to recap, the auto start and finish point is in the view menu bar. And if that's not displayed, simply right click in the gray area and come down and check the view toolbar.